Hey all, a couple of people have asked me how to save the screener setup. So once you've got all your columns, how you want to have them, you need to click on this left hand one here and go save columns as um, test one and go save and that will save your column setup. And on the right hand side, if you have, let's say, a filter, um, you want to go through and you want to save all your filters. And what I do is I always save as the same name as the left one just so I know which filter belongs to which column setup, and so I go save. Um, and you can see that they're both now saved, both now saved. But if I change something, let's delete this column here, so go remove column. You can now see there's a little asterisk next to that test one, because it means that something's changed. So if I want to save this setup now, I'd, I'd actually go click save columns as, and I'd save it again as test one, and you can see the asterisk has gone away. So um, it means that I've saved that. And likewise, if I put a filter in and say, um, only show me stocks that are, say, up over 100%, above 100%, and go OK. See how there's now a little, you might not be able to see it, but trust me, there's a little tiny asterisk now on that test one. And so if I now go and go file save screen as test one, the little asterisk goes away and I've now got that. So if I move away from this column and go to, I don't know, something else, so, you know, this is just a, maybe I'll make it a basic one. So, uh, Angus Export. So, you can see this is just a really simple, you know, setup. Um, you know, what I use this one for is when I want to export the latest stocks with their current price, um, I have a simple one like that. If I want to get back my test one setup, click on it. You can see there's test one here. And someone else said that they've got some filters being applied, but they don't know quite where to see them. And so, you can often clear filters by clicking on here. And see how it says reset all, but you can see at the top, you know, the ones that are active are moved to the top. And this might be an easier way for you to, you know, play with your filters and whatever else, but you basically go reset all. And I do hope that this pop-up showed up on the video, but if it hasn't, all I've done is I've clicked on that and it's come at the top right. It says reset all. And I can reset my filters. So, you know, very, very short, unusually for me, two minute video. Um, just to show you how to save your filters um, once you've got these columns all set up the way that you want them to.